Good morning. Welcome back to a ship with me video. My name is Destiny and today is Friday. I didn't film this week on Monday because I still had some thread up unboxings to post and so I had a good sales day yesterday so I thought I would share them with you. I'm testing out a microphone. Hopefully the audio is okay on this. Um, you guys can let me know down in the comments what you think of the audio nicely. I'm pretty sensitive <laughs> but just let me know how it does down below. Um, so it has been a wild week. Um, I'm not going to get into the Poshmark fee structure. That was, who knows if they're changing it again. I've had okay sales with it, but I know some people haven't. I've been on a mission this week um, using Vendu to list and delist or like relist everything in my closet and all three stores to try to get everything 60 days or less because some stuff on eBay has been listed like 700, a thousand days, like way too long. So I'm working on that. So I did have some older items sell. You know, I just thought about, I had a, a bundle I probably need to build a box for, but that's okay. We'll work on that when we get there. So I had several Poshmark sales yesterday and four eBay sales. A quick story time. If you don't want this, skip ahead like a minute or two. Um, I had a rough week on eBay this week. A lady got a pair of jeans and she really hated them. I put that they were a long size. I guess I had forgotten to include measurements or I don't know. I, I didn't always include measurements, but I do now. So anyway, they said they're Abercrombie. They said size 26 slash two. And by the two was an L, which to me meant long. So I had that in the title and she was mad about the length. I don't accept returns, however, when she wrote back saying they were way too short and um, like six inches too short on her or something, what does she need to do? And I just put, sorry, um, I don't really accept returns. It, I only put long because that was on the tag. And then she's like, well, what does this mean for me? That's not my problem. Do I need to return them? Do I get a refund? So I just told her that she could return them just to open a return. She just have to pay return shipping. And yeah, she got so mad, told me she didn't need to do anything else. She'd just donate them to the poor. And if I was selling items that weren't mine personally, I need to figure out if they were actually long or not. Left me a really bad negative feedback that eBay will not remove because even though she lied in it a few times, she did talk about the fit and they said that people are allowed to do that. So <laughs> whatever. So today I'm kind of like, I'm kind of mad at eBay, but now my feedback because I've gotten two negatives recently, and I had one last year, my feedback is at 98.7, which is annoying, but I think the other feedback, the other negative that was like my first ever, will be gone in November or December, so it is what it is. But we'll just start um, shipping on eBay. Sorry for the long intro. The first thing to sell was this H&M maternity slash nursing top. This was from my cousin no my husband's cousin who I buy things from sometimes um so this is just a size extra small and someone sent me an offer for six dollars which I accepted I am excited to tell y'all that you know these are shipping hit mailers if you watched my video before I love them and I'm going to be an affiliate in the way of she's going to give me a code to get discount on these it's not ready yet but I'm hoping it will be soon I'm not sure how this microphone is going to work. This is my first time trying it out. So hopefully my roll is right here. Hopefully it doesn't like really imped the sound. And if I didn't say a person sent me an offer for $6 on this and I accepted it because it was just a t-shirt and it is going to San Pedro, California. I think I have, I don't know. I have this app called seller insight for Poshmark. So I have like 400 and something listings left that are over 60 days on that. But I know eBay and Mercari have more because I keep Poshmark more to date. So I'm just going to keep working through that. This I got at a Goodwill a long time ago. It's on the plain background. So that means it was in my old office. It is this, the brand's called Nick and Mo. And when I looked it up and saw the RN, it was sold to Anthropology. Um, but that didn't mean anything. I thought it was cute, but it's taken like two plus years to sell. It finally sold for, it says $24.36 plus shipping. 
But I think they used my coupon. I'm not 100% sure. I do have the baby monitor in the background if you hear kind of like a whirring sound. He has decided he can stand up in his crib, so I just try to keep an eye on him. I'm going to... We're redoing my daughter's room so she can move in there and moving his brother out of the crib that he's in. It's like a, a big crib. He's three now. So we're going to move him out of that into a toddler bed and then move the baby into the big crib. So it's been crazy around here. This is going to Pacific Polysades, Polysades, California. Another California. Next is something from a thread up 200 pounds. I just relisted these. And it is New York and Company Soho Green Chino Pants in a size 14. So these sold for an offer I sent to watchers or likers or whatever um, for $15.71 plus shipping. And these were from my January thread up 200 pounds it says. So. The really good one. So we're still making money on that, even though I've netted over a thousand dollars on that one. Which can't say for the recent one, but I've listed fifty something items from that one, and they are starting to move. We're getting ready to see one in just a second here. My husband's off from work today, so he has all the kids outside except the baby who's asleep. So this is a nice treat. So three for three. This one's going to Yorba. Linda, California. It's Y-O-R-B-A. So three for three on California. I don't think the fourth one's going there, but we'll see. Oh, sounds like some children might be coming inside. All right. So this is, I guess my husband's going to do some construction in the other room. Um, this is an Ashley Stewart skirt. This was actually in my thread up 200 pounds that just came. And it sold for an offer sent to me of $17.85. Well, I apologize for the noise. I did not know he was going to come back inside and start hammering on something. Hopefully that doesn't last a long time. He might be putting up a shelf. All right. This one is going to... Del Val, Del Val, I think, Texas. All right, and that was all of my eBay sales. I'm going to keep working later today doing the relisting. It has slowed my sales down a tiny bit. I mean, I'm moving some older things, but some of them are taking a little longer because I'm not. I was listing. I did list some new stuff yesterday, so I need to keep that up, obviously. All right, let's go to Poshmark orders. Maybe we'll go in reverse order. Oh, did I not pull that last? Oh, yes, I did. Okay. All right, so this is a For Love and Lemons panty. Um, I had two of these, finally sold the second one. This was something I got from Cozy Helpsy a long time ago, and they charged me $14 per piece. And this sold for $20. So after the new fees and stuff, I make $16.34, which at least I'm making a little bit. Some of them I have not made money on. This is one of the worst buys I've ever done. A lot of my bad buys came from Helpsy. Or not Helpsy. Well, yeah, I guess it is now, but for Cozy, whatever it is. So anyway, that was several years ago. I thought I was getting bras. They didn't disclose it was only going to be garter belts and underwear. So anyway, that's not here or there anymore, I guess. We're just trying to make our money back. This is going to Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, next we have this Athleta cardigan in a size small. And this had some significant wash wear. So um, I'm going to pause this real quick. Okay, he's going to stop doing that for now. So this cardigan had some significant wear. It was also missing the fabric content tag. This came from Rachel, so I had $4 into it. And someone accepted the Pasha VA offer of $14. I'm still sending out 20% offers on everything. 
I did turn off my discounted shipping since I'm an ambassador and they automatically get that. And if you didn't know, that Posh Pass as of right now works on anything in your closet, even like if they send you an offer, if you send them an offer, full price, all that jazz. This is going to Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm in East Coast. Of course, right now there's still a lot of flooding, a lot of damage on the East Coast with the hurricane, so I'm sure that's why I'm selling more to the West Coast. All right, next is a four-piece bundle. I might be able to get it in this kind of box. It just depends. There's a, a bag, so I'll have to see. We'll try it anyway. So let me get a piece of paper for this. So where's my... All right, so first thing in the bundle is this bag it's like wicker it's a little bag and it came in a thread up fun box i got i thought this would do a lot better because of the style i thought it was cute kind of trendy i don't know though if you carry a purse i am the type that i have one purse that i always carry let me know if you're a person who like always carries a different handbag like you have several you like or if you just have one faithful tried and true my husband got me one for my birthday or Christmas last year and it is a Portland leather goods and I love it like that's the only one I want to carry all right next in this bundle Diane von Furstenberg dress this came in a thread up 200 pounds as you can see maybe from the picture it's on a clean background so I've had this a long time I think these are going to fit because there is a smaller thing this is a Show Me Your Moo Moo dress I got um, a long, long time ago. It's funny, I ordered this from a girl on Instagram. She was selling, like, um, inventory bundles. And she was a very, I don't know that she does YouTube, but she has a very big following on Instagram. So anyway, I decided to buy from her, and it was horrible. Everything reeked like cat pee. It was covered in cat hair. There were stains on stuff. She didn't... She said she'd make it right, but I don't know that she did. I don't remember. Anyway, not important. This is a Liz Claiborne vintage skirt, and this is from my Thread Up 200 in January. I thought it was a pretty cute A-line style. All right, let's see if we can make this box work. I've seen people shove these things way fuller than this. Probably should have put a number seven together, but they're in the room where my husband's doing construction, so. The bad part is, she's getting a new room, but I'm losing a closet I keep my hanging inventory in. It's a small sacrifice, but okay. She's putting a little extra tape to enforce that. On Tuesday, no, Wednesday night, I sent out offers for 40% off. I just went into my shoppers thing. This is what I do weekly now. Went into my shoppers thing, added everyone's likes to a bundle for the past week sent a 40 percent off offer sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but um this the offer i sent her i can't remember this is listed 100 something 135 maybe sent her an offer for 96 90 something and she countered 70 so i did accept that and i'm happy with it because all of these were stale items some of them very stale so and I, with the new fees, I make sixty-two ten. All right, we've got a couple more sales, and some of these now with now with how the Posher VA thing is, like where I don't send out discount shipping unless someone sends me an offer. Sometimes I'm not really sure if it's a full price sale, a twenty percent off, forty percent off. I don't know. This is exciting. This is a thread up 200 pounds item as well. This is a theory blazer and I don't have the best luck with theory, but this sold for, I had just relisted this and lowered the price to, that listed like 120, which was probably reaching. Um, I, I listed it again for maybe 99, maybe 79. I can't remember. Anyway, it sold for $59, which for me, for theory, is a great sale, and I will take it. 
let me know. I know Theory is pretty expensive. I think this was a wool blazer, so I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. I can't remember, but I just can't do well with that. This is going to Greer, South Carolina. I'm almost out of these stickers that my mom and sister made me that say thank you, and then they say Retro by Destiny at the top. But I did buy some more from Shipping Hip. These just say thank you. They had some really cute fall ones, but I didn't know if I would get through them all in fall. All right, next, I think is this. Let me see. No, it's not. <laughs> next are these cloth and stone pants, which is another brand that doesn't do really well for me. But these just got relisted as well. These came in a Facebook buy for I can't remember how much. Usually I pay five to eight dollars per piece in that group. And these sold for an offer sent to me at, of $21. I had them listed at $25, so I was very happy with that. For Poshmark, I just have been using 99% the free supplies. If it is a really small item, I do have some tiny little mailers I'll use because I feel like it's kind of a waste to use one of these big things for like a bra, like like a bralette or like a small pair of underwear or just, you know, a tiny little tank top or something like that, but otherwise been using these. This is going to Columbus, Nebraska. All right, now these, and they're kind of like, I mean, they're free. And I think putting the thank you sticker on is good enough. I'm going to use some of this. I did a um, bundle from Shipping Hip, and it came with this washi tape. So I'm going to use that just to... Oh, I missed. Hang on. I'll just do it like that. I'm going to use it to hold this bag so it's not so crinkly. These are a pair of American Eagle High Rise Shorty Shorts, as you can tell again. Plain background. These, I'm pretty sure we're from Jamar. They used to have this box that was like all shorts from American Eagle, Hollister, like trendy mall brands kind of thing. Oops. Tr trendy mall brands. And it did really well for me. It was like $3 per pair. But I have a few stragglers around here. So, you know. All right. Now, let's get a sticker. These sold for what I'm pretty sure is a 40% off offer of $9, which I'm happy to see them move. And with the new fee structure, I make $7.10, which is an extra dollar and five cents that I normally would have made. So after the week I've had on eBay, I am very happy with Poshmark. <laughs> like I understand it's not great buyers are paying fees and we all have feelings and mixed reviews about this stuff they're doing, but like I said, after the week I've had with eBay with literally zero seller protection on two sales I had, I'm happy with Poshmark. All right. Last but not least is a third love bra. I haven't sold one of these in a while, and this one's been listed quite a little bit. I'm going to put this in a padded bubble. And I got it at Goodwill. My average cost of goods that day was $4.75. This may have been relisted. I don't know. I've just been, if you've ever used Vindu, they have that bulk tool. If you haven't, it's basically you just click and they have this cool thing on there. You can put to, oh, my hair is on my last nerves. You can put like for it to have this little, you know, what? I'll just show you afterwards how I'm doing it. If you're interested, if you're not after this sale, you can just click off and thanks for watching, but I'll show you in just a second. Cause I had someone ask about Vindu the other day. I need to go to where my items are. Old. All right. This item is going to Conway, South Carolina. And that is my last sale for today, Friday. Oops. Oh, well. Got that sticker a little far over, but. All right. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you all Bindu and what I've been doing with it. I'm just holding the camera, so this will be a little shaky. But if you can see, they have this little yellow thing right here that tells me that this is a stale quote unquote listing. You can set that for however you want. Like you can turn it off. You can put it for 90 days. I have mine set at 60 days. And then you can like pick over here which items you want. And then up here, 
these bulk actions, bulk list, D list. You just click the item, and you can do like I'll just do a whole page usually. Which marketplaces? Pick this, and there you go. So that makes it super easy, and I'm trying to get through all my stale listings, but we'll see how that goes. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope the audio is okay, and um, yeah, my mannequin. I pushed it over a little bit ago, but um, I've got some work to do, and I'll see you all in the next one.